Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. Brought all these quads out here. All these quads to fly with my Session 5. And I left the Session 5 sitting at home on the charger on the computer. So all I have is a 6 inch smooth operator and a Hero 7 Black. That's all I need. That's all I need. This video is really about the Azure 6145 props that I'm flying in this video. Previously, I have been using the Gatebreaker, uh, what are these, 60, 60, 55, 60, I don't know. They're the Gatebreaker six inch props from Lumineer. And uh, I think it was Steve McDonald that first uh, recommended the Azure 6145s and I like the gate breakers, but the the one gripe I have about them is when you hit something, they will bend on the horizontal axis or plane, whatever you want to call it. They bend in, and you can't even really tell they're bent. I think this one is bent a little bit. You can't tell until you start flying again, and it's all it gives terrible vibrations. These don't have that problem. In fact, you're gonna see here in, in the video where I start hitting stuff that uh, they, um, they, don't, they don't really bend, they won't bend in at all. They'll bend this way vertically, which is much less of a problem because it's easier to tell that you got a bent prop down. And they, they don't quite have the I don't think they quite have the uh, authority of the uh, gate breaker. The gate breaker's got a higher pitch, and these are 45 pitch, but they they still have great control, and they're smooth. They're a very smooth prop. What they lack in authority, they make up for in smoothness, and they're a little more efficient. I think I haven't really tested it. Uh, Efficiency is not really high on my list of things that I want from a prop. I just want good feel, good thrust, and they have decent thrust. 
if, if I get a little more efficiency, great. If I don't, it, it doesn't really bother me. But the durability is where these shine. And you'll see that in the video when I smack into a few trees. Durable, durable props. All right, let's check out some more flight footage. Oh, here is the quad I am flying. The six inch smooth operator. I've done many, many videos with this. Anything six inch on my channel is this quad. And the Catalyst Machine Works GoPro mount for the Hero 7, indestructible. Have not broke my Hero 7 yet. Same Hero 7 I've been flying since it came out. Great, great frame, love it. Uh, I haven't broken anything on this frame yet. I think I broke something on the five inch. Can't remember what it was. Anyway, haven't broke anything on it. Coming up, I put Emu Flight on my little HD toothpick here. And it flies amazing. Um, previously I had some issues with the uh, still had issues with prop wash when you did hard maneuvers with this quad but uh, not with emu flight and i'm gonna make a video about that and my latest come here this is my latest quad that i've built and i know i said i wasn't gonna build anymore but i had a 30 dollar um, code discount code from pyrodrone and uh this was only $70 frame, so picked it up for 40 bucks. Had to buy something, right? Gotta spend that $30. And this is the Hyperlow RS Plus. I know this frame's been out for, uh, what, a year now? Maybe, maybe more than a year. But I thought I'd do a little review on it that's coming up. And I got Falco X on here. Uh, Race Day Quads had the Schizo OSD flight controller on discount at the beginning of the year so I picked one up and flashed it with Falco X and uh, I'm going to try to tune it. I've already flown it on uh, Blackbird uh, PIDs and uh, Blackbird rates and it flew pretty good. Uh, I'll probably uh, do a little comparison with Emu Flight on the uh, Schizo flight controller, so stay tuned for that. And we lost focus. Any minute here, I'm gonna test the durability of these props. If you have a six inch prop that you think is better than the Azure 6145, let me know in the comments down below. As I think this is a pretty amazing prop. If it does one thing great, it's gotta be durability, but it does everything good. That's gonna do it for the commentary on this video, y'all. Just gonna throw some music on this last battery. Be sure to like and subscribe, and coming up, a new spot to fly. Stay tuned. Last battery. It's, uh, once again, Race Day Quads 1000 on the six inch smooth operator. Last battery.
Did I mention how durable they are? Never call last battery on. I'm just testing the durability of these props. Oh, I bent one. Oh, it bent down a little bit. I think I can bend that back though. Testing the uh, durability of uh, Catalyst Machine Works uh, Hero 7 mount. Shit's still working good. Still haven't broke this camera. Looks good. Good job, Neil. Good job.